Hey friends, we're here to talk about the leg stirrup with the cuff today. I will show you quickly how to put on the Pilates one and the difference, but it won't be a huge tutorial on that, it will be on the cuff. So all of you get a cuff with your total gym, and these are part of the Pilates Extra. And all you do is put one on each end instead of attaching it with your D-ring to the glide board. So with that said, we're going to put down the leg stirrups. Remember, that's part of the Pilates package um, that comes with the tow bar and the platform. So a lot of people are making uh, comments about them. Let's go to the cuff. So the cuff has four D-rings on them, and we use those for different positions. So with that said, getting on to the total gym and staying safe is really important. So grab the one which has not got the cuff on it. Place the other one on the D-ring on your glide board. Now different models have different attachments, so I'm gonna leave that bit to you. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this down across my other one and I'm gonna put my cuff on. So all you do is put it in like a stirrup and then take the cuff and wrap it around nice and secure and put your Velcro on. And this will move around a little bit, but you'll get used to it and you just move um, cautiously and make sure your other foot is always um, secure. I like to leave the toe bar or the squat stand on so that you can use it. I do see other people taking it all off. Yes, you don't need it, but it gives you somewhere to put the other leg to stabilize while you're doing your D-rings. So with that said, I'm gonna grab the other cable and I'm going to move my guide board up and I'm going to sit at the bottom. Make sure everything's in the right place so that you've got your D-ring ready. <clears throat> now I'm going to go into a hamstring stretch and extension. So I'm going to bend the leg and I want to put this right, right on the middle. No need to count, just the one that's in the middle for you on your leg. When that's done, I'm just going to shimmy up so my other foot comes on. Whatever you do on Total Gym, please, I want to encourage everyone just to move your ribs down and zip your tummy up. So you always want to have core stability on with absolutely every move that you do on here. So I've seen some people say you don't need to use your core. Total Gym is so amazing, but it's so much better to use with the zip ribs down. So you have like a corset around your middle, plus that helps keep your tummy nice and firm and flat. So with that said, I'm going to point the toe on my right foot and exhale, come back, flex the foot, listen to my body and keep my tailbone down. Point and lift up and flex. Now you don't want to go fast, you just want to have fluidity. So we're just going to keep the fluidity of a point and then a flex. Point and a flex. And again, point. I'm going to work on five of everything I show you. Point and flex. Beautiful. Now I'm going to come into a bent leg. Exhale, push out and lift up. Come down, bent leg, push out and lift up. Good, bent leg, keeping my butt down, flex the foot and come back up. This is especially good for people with sciatica, just to get some blood flow, some releasing. You don't want to hold a stretch with sciatica, you want to get movement and gapping through the glute. So a nice combination, I'm going to do one more and push back up. Nice, now I'm just going to point the toes and do a little circle tiny. Think of a clock and just go around your clock. Zip on that tummy, lower back down and back up the other way. The only contraindication of doing this would be someone with a recent hip replacement. You don't want to go into the midline with this pull on. <clears throat> Whenever you're doing any of this, you want to squeeze your glutes gently as well. Beautiful and hold. Now I'm going to change the D-ring. So I'm going to put out my other foot on the toe bar. This is my preference <clears throat> and the way I teach it to other trainers to teach clients 
then I'm just going to move to the side and take it to the next D, D ring because I'm going to lie on my side. I'm going to take up my left arm and I'm just going to hold cable. Always be cautious doing this. Put my hand underneath my leg. Now, good little tip here is put your bottom backwards because then you're going to feel way more stable. So bottom at the back, leg in line with your hip. Head down. Zip into the tummy. Point and come forward. Flex and push back. Try not to go flying up here because you're going to get into a little bit of strife. So just feel your way what your body can do through the glute with the core. Point and flex. Good point. And come back and flex. Beautiful point. And flex. Really feeling it deep into the top of the hamstring now. And the glute. Beautiful. One more time. And we're just going to add an abduction to this. Nice and cautiously. Abduction, come back down, point and come forward. Flex, come back, abduction, don't go too high. Be aware of your hip joint, point and come forward. Lift and come down, point and come forward. Good, and flex, come back down, point and come forward one more time i really like this one so i'm just going to slip one more in beautiful come back in now i'm going to roll back over <clears throat> put my foot back on the toe bar and because i know that i'm going to turn over i'm going to take this one two and find the back one the back one for me could be different for you just depending on how big your ankle is, where you've put your cuff. <clears throat> I'm going to hold on to this, roll over cautiously. Once I'm over, I'm putting out my left leg again to support me. I'm going to come up onto my elbows and I'm just going to pop up onto my knee. <clears throat> it's a nice safe way to come up. I'm putting my hands together, zip into the tummy. I'm going to extend this leg out and flex. Lifting back up gently. Tummy on, and just feeling your way, just to where you're comfortable. You want that glute engaged, and one more. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to flex the foot and come into a right angle. Now I'm going to lift that knee up a little bit, and just pulse, pulse, and pulse, and pulse. It's so tiny. Just want that glute on nice and tight. Now I'm going to hold the knee above the hip and flex back out come back in and flex back out come back in and flex back out come back in and flex good and again flex zip on that tummy now i'm going to hold it out to point your toes and just circle tiny and back up the other way bit of coordination here and we're going to finish by going back onto our back and doing leg circles the other way. So I'm going to bring that leg down. I'm going to put the other leg out just to protect myself. Come back over. And I'm just going to roll back over. And I'm going to change that D ring again to the front of my foot. Shimmy on down. Making sure my ponytail is tucked away and my head is at the top of the toe bar. Before we go anywhere, rib cage down, zip the tummy, hands down behind you, pinch your shoulders. Breathing, taking that leg down. I'm just going to come around the corner. Find your perfect circle. Absolutely no benefit in going fast. This here you're going to feel, we're going to hold this at the end. And you're going to get a nice adductor stretch. Beautiful. One more. And back up the other way. And then, of course, when we've done this, we're going to do the other side. Last time. 
and I'm going to hold it out and take it into a stretch. I'm just going to let my other knee counterbalance by opening out and put my hands on both legs. That is such an intense, lovely stretch. And just hold. Bringing up the left leg, cross over the right leg and push open on the knee. And then our glute gets a nice stretch as well. Once you've done that stretch, and you can stay there as long as you want, <clears throat> I'm going to put my left leg away. I'm going to undo <clears throat> my cable, pop it down. I'm going to take off my cuff and pop it on the other leg. Make sure you've got room for your leg and the cuff to move around. I may have popped that cable away. I'm going to go back and grab it. And again, getting on the bottom just makes it nice and safe. <clears throat> so my right leg is my stabilizer now. You can use the cross, but it's a nice place to use. I find it way easier to have your squat stand or your tow bar on so that you have somewhere to stabilize the other leg. I much prefer that than having nothing on. So, <clears throat> Finding the center D-ring and attach. Beautiful. I want my bottom a little bit further down. Check my head is in the right place. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pop on my right leg. Rib cage down, zip the tummy. Hands down, pinch your shoulders. Breath and come down and flex back. Point and flex back. Point and flex back, point, and flex back, and point, and flex back. Let's do one more, point, and flex back. Now we're just going to do that little knee bend. So coming into tabletop, <clears throat> press back out. Into tabletop, and press back out. Now once you've got that, Put the two together and come back. You can always just do the uh, tabletop press. I'm just putting the two together. Come back down, zip on the tummy, rib cage down, and press back up. Good, come back in and press. Good, come back in and press. Good, one more. And come back in and press. I'm going to take away my right leg. Just going to undo that D-ring and pop it around to the left for the left leg because I'm going to roll to the right. Remember, bottom at the back of the board will help you stabilize. Put your right arm out before you turn. So the right arm, and then just pop, move my hair, put the hand underneath. Make sure you're fully on the side and that your bottom is right at the back. Really helps you feel more stable. Pressing back out, point, and flex, come back. Come forward, point, nice and slow. Flex the foot and come back. Point. Flex the foot and back, and point, flexing back, and again, point, flexing back. One more, and we're going to add the abduction, and flex to come back. Now we abduct, come back down, point, come forward. Flex your foot to come back. Abduct cautiously, straight leg, point, come forward. Press back, flex back up, come back down, point, come forward. Press back. I haven't actually done my cuff up very good and it's starting to pull, so I'm going to adjust that soon. Point, come back down and come forward. Good, flex and lift back up. Beautiful, hold it there. Now I'm just going to go down and just check my cuff, go back on my 
So if that happens to you, put your other foot up and just go back down. So my cuff, I didn't do very good. So it's actually very good this happened to show you <clears throat> if you hear it actually pulling apart, go ahead and check it because you don't want that flying off. Breath and come down and hold. Now back onto my side and my hand underneath. Breath in and push back. I want you to just go slightly behind. Come back and abduct. Good. Come back. Forward and abduct. Press back. Come forward and abduct. Good. Come back. Come forward and abduct. I may not have done this on the other side. Just slip it in and come back. Beautiful. And lift up. Nice work. I'm going to put down my right foot and bring down my left. And I'm just going to roll it over onto my tummy. And I'm low enough I can use the floor here. <clears throat> Interesting. Good hold. I'm just going to come up onto my right knee and bring my hands together. Tuck into the tummy and I'm going to lift that leg up. Flex the foot and press back out. Flex the foot and press back out. Flex the foot and press back out. Flex the foot, press back out. And again, flex the foot, press back out. Hold it here, go a little higher and just a little pulse. Little pulse. Nice work. Now flex the foot into a right angle. And again, lift it up. Two, three, four, five. Hold. Now just press out. Come back in. Press out. So I'm doing a little bit more on this side. So just showing you different combinations that you can put together. Left Lucy, so my left leg is definitely weaker than my right. And so I like to do more on my left. So keep that in mind, guys, that the right is normally very functional and tight, and the left is a bit looser. So do a little bit more on it. And hold. Beautiful. Come back in. And I'm just going to roll back onto my back to do my leg circles. Tuck into the tummy. Bring that leg on. And I'm just going to wriggle down a little bit. Tuck in, roll down, and put my right leg out, and take my left leg up. Hmm. <clears throat> so I've actually got three cuffs and this Velcro. So this Velcro on this cuff I had for a long time actually needs replacing. Should be part of my sewing. <laughs> and hold and put the right one on. Exhale, breath in, point, come down, and take it around to the side. I lift back up and come back down to the side. I lift back up and come back down to the side. I lift back up and come down. One more, and I'm just going to reverse direction and come back down. Go ahead and reverse. A lift. Doesn't matter which way you go first. In fact, it's very beneficial to do things a little bit different and start a little bit different so that your body is always being tricked a little bit and left and right start to balance out. Taking it all the way. I love this one. It feels so good. Beautiful. I'm going to hold this one out to the side and put my hand down onto it and get a nice inner thigh stretch. Beautiful. I'm just going to bring it over the other leg now and press out on it. It gets deep into the glute. Of course, if you want to go, but you have to be cautious. You can take this deeper by lifting off the bottom foot and putting your hands into the keyhole. And that intensifies that stretch, which is rather yummy. And hold. Beautiful. I'm going to take the bubble. <clears throat> and I'm going to hold and take off my cuff. And 
and I'm just going to pop it down behind me. Now, a good rule is just to not throw it, <clears throat> tuck into the tummy and walk my way back up. I'm just going to show you attaching the two Pilate cups. So, I'm going to grab the two straps <clears throat> and I'm just going to unbuckle the cuff. There's no confusion because some people watch a video when I'm doing this one and think it's that one. So to take away all confusion, I'm showing you both. So I undo the D-ring <clears throat> and I now attach the other Pilates strap. And you always want to have your leg strap above your arm pulley at the top. <clears throat> and remember, if you've got Short legs, you can get three extensions and you don't need to put one on each side because it's a single pulley. So if you put an extension on one side, it affects the whole cable. So a lot of people get that confused and think when they get three that they should have two of each side, but you only need one. So <clears throat> secret is always to come to the bottom when you're putting on your Pilates straps. <clears throat> I just put my feet onto the base. I reach up above me and I put my finger in between the two black bubbles. So the two black bubbles, that is where you grip. Tuck into the tummy and roll down and I'm again going to put my feet onto the toe bar. And that takes away all talk on your back and that feeling of not being safe. Breath in, now keep the two bubbles together and put the left foot in. Tuck into the tummy. Now press into the left heel to push backwards so you don't get yourself all scrunched up and hold on nice and tight. Once you're in there, check behind you that it's not crossed over. If it is crossed, all you have to do is turn like that. You don't need to get off. Breath in, we're going into back extension point. Glue the legs together. Rib cage down, tummy on. Exhale, come back into leg extension. Now that's way harder doing bilateral. Tuck in. So you will notice there is no need to go high. The total gym is used for assistance or resistance with the level. So sometimes being lower is harder. And sometimes being higher is harder. And sometimes being higher is just stupid. Like in this one, there's no benefit of it. You just work with your body on a very Definitely below halfway and press back so you'll notice I'm only going as far as I can that my tailbone doesn't lift so I'm drawing into my tummy folding the legs back but my tail does not come off beautiful breath in coming into hamstring pull right leg forward sorry up grab behind the hamstring lift your head tuck in and exhale change exhale change and change and change and change giving it a little pull but keeping the leg locked up and abs rolled together and change and change and change and change and change and change two more beautiful love it breath in <clears throat> i'm gonna go back down to that point with my hamstrings that i couldn't go any further open the legs place my hands in the middle flex the feet Tuck in, if you want a little bit more, you can roll up as long as you're using your abs and not your neck. And just hold. So I have a little bit of abdominals on, a whole lot of inner thigh stretch. Flex the feet and then come back in. Breath in, frog feet. If you want the heels together, exhale, come down and reach. Down and diagonal out, keeping your heels pressed together. Always remember that breath is super important in exercise. Helps with blood pressure, helps with releasing muscles, and just keeps a healthy heart too. So exhale on exertion, and try not to remember not to hold your breath. So you can make this a little harder by tucking into the tummy, rolling up the abdominals, come back in, and just hold. So I'm just cradling my head, and my legs are diagonal. Heels are glued together. 
And your inner thighs will really start to burn, keeping the heels together here. Beautiful. Bring it back in, hands come down. <clears throat> Move the legs above you. Flex the feet and open the legs in line with your hips. And just hold. Breath and bring the knees towards your chest. And think like you're pressing the roof up. Tuck and come down, press the roof up. Come on down, press up. This is really intense and rather hard. Press, beautiful, and press. Good, and press. Do one more, and press. Beautiful. Okay, there is one which is rather, rather uh, strange. We call it the Highland Fling. So just flex the foot. <clears throat> and change one heel comes to your crutch other heel diagonal come back in out to the side so we just kick it and it is a little bit like a cowboy fling dancing in the barnyard that's just a clicking of the cable nothing to worry about flex the foot one comes towards your crutch and one goes out keeping the foot flexed keeping your tailbone down two more and Wow, that's a lot of inner thighs going on here. We're now going to go back into our frog feet. <clears throat> Breath in and press diagonal. Come back in. Now we're going to come down and close the glide board. Tuck in and roll your way down. Let your bottom roll up now. Close the glide board. Lift your bottom up. Pull into your tummy and roll your way back down. Pressing out frog feet. My inner thighs are screaming. Tuck in, come down roll down tailbone lifts glide board shuts and lift your bottom up tuck in and roll down so think like you're rolling like a ball if you're finding that hard put your hands at the top and assist yourself come down <clears throat> roll your way down and push the glide board at the top to make it shut okay and tuck in and roll back down and frog feet out dive in your tummy push down because you want to close the glide board Lift your bottom, tuck in, and press back out. One more, tuck in, come down, roll under, tuck in and roll back, and press back out. Whew. Go ahead now, put your hands down behind you, and we're going into a long stretch. So we close the glide board. Have a little rest here. Let everything go, but point your toes, legs are straight. Before you lift up, we are not using shoulders. If you find you use your shoulders, cross your hands over top of your shoulders and just ensure that you don't use them. Tuck in and lift up. Open the legs, flex the feet. So I'll show you that again without my hands here. I prefer to have them down, but some people will find they push the glide board open. That means you're using your shoulders. Tuck into the tummy, use your buttocks, point your toes. Lift back up, open the legs, flex the feet. Pull into the tummy, push into the heels. Really intense. You do not want to be high to do this. You'll hurt your back. Breath in, come down. Close the glide board. Point lift up, open the legs, flex the feet, pull into the tummy. It's a real brace in, guys. Point and come down. Close the glide board. Lifting back up, <laughs> open, flex your feet, pull into the tummy, roll your way back down. Point and come back in. And one more, come on down. I lift back up, open and flex, dive in your belly, roll your way back down, point and come back in. Go ahead now, coming off, grab the cables, bend your knees, bring your hands down to the bobbles, hold tight. Now you're nice and safe to take out the left. Find the toe bar. Take off the right. Now if you're going to continue on doing anything, fold and place them in the middle, not to the sides, because they'll just get in the way. Just drop down the middle. Tuck in and bring in the arms around. Pull into your belly. Just make sure you're on. And I like to have a nice stretch out just for that lower back. Pull into your belly and roll back up. Feet go down. And that, guys, is 
single leg calf work and Pilates leg pulley. So I hope you enjoyed, hope you got a lot out of that. Please be cautious, please keep it low, especially doing that last exercise or your back will do the work, not your abdominals. I wish you well. Thank you.